In this exercise, we are asked to solve a fourth order polynomial. First, we need to locate at least one root for factorization. Depending on the complexity of the given equation, sometimes you might be able to figure out just by observation. But it is better to use a more reliable method, which is called the rational roots test. It can determine rational roots using the leading and training coefficients in the polynomial. The leading coefficient is associated with the highest order of x, which is 1 in this case. We use p for the representation of its factors. On the other hand, the trailing coefficient is associated with the lowest order of x, which in this case is the constant, and we use q to indicate its factors. A rational root can be found from the quotient q over p. So we do have multiple values for q and p. I'll just skip the math on this. We would eventually discover that x equals minus 2 is a root. Knowing this, we can factorize the polynomial into a product of x plus 2 and some cubic expression. To determine the remaining roots, we first have to apply the synthetic division on the cubic expression. We start by eliminating the highest order of x. So in order to get x to the power of 4, we need to multiply x plus 2 by x to the power of 3. So this gives us x to the power of 4 plus 2 times x to the power of 3. And then after subtracting it from the original polynomial, the remainder is a cubic expression. So we do have to repeat this step and eliminate 5 times x to the power of 3 next. This means that we need to multiply x plus 2 by 5 times x squared. Once again, we perform the subtraction, and the remainder is a quadratic expression. We then multiply x plus 2 by 7x to get 7x squared plus 14x. So this will get rid of 7 times x squared and leave us with 2x plus 4. And finally, multiplying x plus 2 by 2 would return 0 after this subtraction. So the cubic expression we are looking for is simply the one above, which is x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 2. We can then repeat the above steps on this cubic expression to acquire the remaining roots. If you are unable to obtain a root by observation, you can always try the rational roots test again. You will find out that x equals minus 2 is also a root for this cubic expression. This means the root x equals minus 2 is actually repeated. The polynomial can be written as the product of x plus 2 squared and the quadratic equation. We can then perform the synthetic division on the cubic expression. The idea is the same as before, so I will show the entire deduction procedure at once. This means the cubic expression can be written as the product of x plus 2 and x squared plus 3x plus 1. And to solve for the remaining roots, we can apply the quadratic formula on the quadratic expression. Uh, because the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, two different roots are expected. We get x equals minus 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. So in summary, the solutions of the given polynomials are as follows. We have three different roots with one being repeated.